Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Hashem, Bashem, Hakadash, and all understood elders and apostles of great men who have told this truth, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. And um, yeah, this is just um a quick testimony of what I've just seen just now, literally just now. I've literally went outside, and I saw three chariots flash their lights at me two was from far away and then one literally came close as how it came down and I flashed its light slowly and then just disappeared and then all of a sudden this other chariot just comes out of nowhere and it's just sitting there and I'm thinking what is that and then that's when I pulled up my phone to take um, a picture and this is what I got this is what I got so I'm going to show you the video if you can't see it, turn off your brightness. So there, that's the chariot I saw. And that chariot was not there. This was not there when I was out there. It's never been there. Whenever the chariots come, this has never ever been there. So this is new. This, this is a new chariot. <coughs> and then, um, yeah, I took some pictures. And this is what I got. So you're probably thinking, why does it look so bright? Like I may mention before in other in another video, when you're taking pictures, and this phone has um, it has four cameras, so it, so when you zoom in, it uses it, it uses um the different cameras, and not only that, there's um a feature called night mode, so when night mode when night mode is on or night is on. When you take a picture, it basically enhances the picture, or enhance it enhances um the darkness of the picture to make it brighter. And this is what I took. So there's that same chariot that was sitting there, and then I seen this. And there's um one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Finally, there's six chariots there, but I say it was seven. I say it's seven. Wait, because I took another picture, and this was on um. This is on um. A different zoom, a different zoom level, or it's using a different, the different camera on the back. So there's the same chariot. And um, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's one right there. In between. The two, it's it's very hard to see. But there's actually seven there in some weird order. I don't, I don't know what that that sign is. I don't know exactly what that sign is. But um, and as you can see, there's more chariots up in the air. One there, another one there. There's actually some up here, just chilling. Oh, there's one there as well, just chilling. And then there's some over here. And then there's so there's two here. Actually, I think there's more, but the camera couldn't really capture it. But that don't matter right now. But yeah, there are the pictures and there are the pictures I took. And this is the camera on ten times zoom. So there's that same chariot. This is what it looks like at ten times zoom. It looks like a fireman. It looks like fire. Like the scriptures say, man. Just like the scriptures say. No quickly um Yeah, Zika one and four. And I looked and beheld Slokia. And I looked and behold a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the mist thereof as the colour of amber and out of the mist of the fire. And you're telling me that doesn't look like the colour of amber. That looks like amber. That's and then yo, I don't know how I did it, but I managed to capture the other chariots too. <clears throat> so there it is again. So there's that same amber chariot. The same amber chariot, chariot, it looks like a different shape now. And then you got the other ones here, 
see, and if you count it, there's, there's seven. There's, so there's one, two, three, four. And like I said, there was one right there in between the, in between the two. So yeah, there's seven chariots there, man. So no, there isn't six. There's actually seven, which means perfection. So yeah, man. That's, that's the upper, man. <laughs> it's crazy because it's, it just it just it just came out of nowhere. It just came out of nowhere, and then I see there's there's seven chariots there, just lined up. Seven, you know, that's completion. Call Lord Yahweh Hashem how I don't know who I am in the reincarnation, but yo, the Lord's been showing me these these signs, man. Like yo, I can't I can't deny how Hashem how I can't. <laughs> oh praise him, man, to Yahweh Hashem how and um, what was the scripture I wanted to get? Um, what was it again? Um, Um, yeah, I think I should read from, to be honest, I can just read from 2nd address 9 and 1. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly do that. And it says, um, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made and it's fitting because didn't the apostle Taha surname twenty twenty two the turn up of Yahweh Shai or the turning up of Yahweh Shai and you're telling me the Lord isn't turning up with with the signs in the heaven. Of course he is man. And it says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And yeah, man, this is, this is a sign in heaven, man. I'm sure there's a scripture about that too. I could literally just read Daniel 6 and 27 because <laughs> that's literally what the Lord has done. But I know he's talking about Daniel and the lines, but the point I'm trying to make is um, yeah, he delivered and rescued with and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven. And those chariots, those chariots, what I just saw now, that's, that's a sign, man. Yo, the chariot, it disappeared out of nowhere. I'm telling you now, man. I am outside in my back garden every day looking at the chariots and seeing their patterns. And I've never ever seen a chariot appear in the place where I took the picture and video at. Never. This is the first time. This is the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, man, like it says, man, you work with signs and wonders in heaven man, and in earth. All praise the Alba somehow, shit. I'm sure there's another one. Um, ah, uh, yes. Luke 21 and 11. And it says, um, actually, let me actually click on the scripture. Um... So this is basically going into um, the servants of the Lord, asking the Lord what the signs will be at the end. 
So I'm gonna quickly read from um read the uh, yeah verse seven. It says, um, and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, or the Messiah. And the time draweth near, or Christ just basically means the anointed, but yeah, the time draweth near, go ye not there for after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. But these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines. <laughs> famines. We definitely see those, and pestilences, we definitely see those. We definitely see um, earthquakes in diverse places, and we definitely see um, wars and commotions. And it says, um, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. And, and that's a great sign, man. What, the, what I just showed you, that's a great sign from heaven, man. Now, I've never seen that before in my life, man. I've never, ever, ever witnessed that in my life. This is, this is something new that the Lord showed me. And you see, now I'm even more happy. And more um, thankful to help Hashem how shy for fixing his phone. Because if the Lord didn't fix his phone, I wouldn't have been able to, um, to even record or get the footage or the pictures. I wouldn't. So yeah, man, to what to help Hashem how shy, man, for repairing his phone, man. Literally, the screen was dead. <laughs> the screen was dead, and then, um, yeah, man, a week later, after going out to the highways and byways, I sat my I sat this phone that I'm using to record this video on the table, and then I went outside. I went outside and I prayed to the Lord, man. I prayed to the Lord, and I humbled myself before Him. And then literally, literally, I saw a chariot flying in the flying in the heavens, man, flashing at me. And then I turned around. And I see the phone turning on by itself. The phone turned on by itself. And I was like, no way, man. No way. No way. I ran up inside, picked up the phone. And then um, the first thing I did was um, I contacted um, their beloved brother, um, Taziawan from GMS Bahamas. And I told him about my phone and, and what the Lord did. And it was like, oh, praise to you, how how shy, man. So, yeah, man. I'm glad the Lord fixed this phone so that you could see this testimony, man. <laughs> all praises to you, how well, how shy. But, yeah, man, I want to give all, um, all praises, honor, and glory to you, how well, how shy. And, yeah, man. Shalom.